If your neck is coming forward while you're standing, so you've noticed maybe in uh, some photos that your body's all upright, but you've got this neck that's kind of sticking out in front of the body instead of balancing neat, neatly or nicely on top. This can also be called tech neck, um, and there's a few other technical names for it, but basically your neck is sticking forward. That's all we need to think about. This can be because the muscles in the front of the neck are tight and the muscles in the back of the neck are weak. So I've got a couple of things that you can do both at home and at the desk because you're more likely to have issues with this as a uh, desk jockey. So the first neck mobility thing I want to go over is uh, side bends at the wall. So for this one, my feet are going to be a few inches in front of the wall. It is, and then my butt, my upper back and my head are all going to be against the wall. And while I'm standing here, I'm going to actively move my head as laterally to one side as I can, can and then slowly bring it back up. And then bring it over to the other side. This is stretching the side muscles in the neck, but it's a bit more effective than if you were just sitting at your desk doing these sorts of stuff. As a backup option, you can do it while you're sitting at your desk, um, but I get more out of it against the wall. It's also helpful for uh, reminding me of upright posture because I'm having to have butt, shoulders, and head against the wall. Uh, so it's just kind of resetting where things are at with being posturally upright. Another stretch you can try is to open up the fronts of the shoulders. It's not so good to do in the office, especially if you're standing behind a door. So uh, maybe doing this at home or if you're working from home. I, I think this is my new favorite peg stretch as well. So I'm going to stand with my head in the corner. <laughs> Go stand in the corner and put both arms at the wall. So I'm doing that 90 degree peg stretch, but with both arms at the same time. And then I'm going to walk myself forward, trying to get my chest into the corner as much as possible. I find that my head is naturally wanting to straighten and come back because I don't want my face to just have my nose in the corner. And I'm going to hold this for as long as I feel comfortable. Um, it may start off super, super gross feeling uh, a bit pins and needly in the hands because your hands are up as well as things being stretched where they're like tight muscles squishing nerves as you do that more you'll find that it becomes more and more comfortable and it's less of that um, yeah, kind of feeling uh, if it is way too intense then you could try backing off and just doing one at a time until that gets a little bit easier for you and that mobility in your shoulders Ignore how my desk is set up, it's not super ergonomic. I'm spending maybe half an hour to an hour in total during the whole day sitting at my desk. Um, but I will have something set up soon for a future ergonomic video for you guys. You just have to wait. Um, so, three stretches you can do at your desk. By the way, these stretches, like if you can have your Fitbit or your phone or your laptop have a time and go off that reminds you to move and do these stretches throughout the day, you find you get much less neck pain because you're moving and you keep switching things up. So, first one is arrow pose. I'm going to get my hands behind my back, move myself forward off the edge of the chair first, hands behind the back, and I'm going to clasp my fingers together or interlock my fingers. I'm resting my forearms on the back of the chair, and this is pulling the backs of my shoulders together while opening the front of the chest and it's forcing my neck to kind of come back a little bit more too. This one feels glorious in the fronts of the shoulders. Right, that's arrow pose for you. If you struggle with that one, you can start off with getting a broomstick and trying to hold that behind your back if you're struggling with mobility behind your back. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, do active hands behind the head. So, going to rest my hands almost as if I was just like chilling with my hands behind my head like so except I am going to have my fingers touching each other make it a little bit easier for myself and take my hands back from my head my elbows are pointing out wide instead of collapsing forward because that's cheating 
elbows out wide. I have a bun on the back of my head at the moment, so my head goes even further back than it usually would. This one's super challenging, uh, but feels like it's going to do a whole lot of good. There you go, that's number two. Number three is clipping up at the desk. So anyone who's done my stretching classes will know sometimes we like to tuck in a sneaky cliffhanger uh, at the wall. It's very intense but very fun. You're going to move your chair back, put your hands on the desk, and then all we're going to do is chuck your head down and sit like this for a little bit. If you have any neck injuries or um, problems with your neck, maybe chat to your regular physio or your doctor if you're usually seeing one. Uh, if you feel any pain, uh, just back off from that and try a different stretch because you've got a whole variety to try. The ideal thing to think about is if this is a, a problem you've got going on, maybe from the phone, it could be because you're sitting at a desk. If you can change your desk to a standing desk, that would be excellent. Um, you may already have a standing desk but are still not um, are still missing a couple of postural things that you could be changing.